while waiting for a bus. News 4 at Noon starts right here, right now. Live in high definition, this is Western New York's news leader. Now, News 4 at Noon. We're learning new facts this noon about the house explosion in Wilson last week. News 4's Brittany Smallwood has been looking into a second propane tank being on the property. She joins us live now from Wilson with more. Brittany? Emily, we now know that two propane tanks were inside the Johnson family home at the time of the tragic home explosion that took place early last week. But it was first thought that it was a NOCO tank that was connected to the home, but new evidence proves otherwise. NOCO officials say two propane tanks were at the Johnson family home in Wilson last week when it blew up. A NOCO tank was attached to the home at one point, but someone disconnected it. Instead, a different tank was hooked up when the home exploded. But there are many questions like what company hooked it up and was it installed properly? The Niagara County Sheriff's Office is inspecting the tanks as they investigate what caused the deadly explosion that took the life of 14-year-old Sarah Johnson and destroyed her family's home. We are quite confident that there was a buildup of propane gas in the house. Um, that propane gas is heavier than air and can become flammable with the, an ignition source when mixed with air. Vutour says now that they know propane filled the Johnson's home, they're investigating why it leaked and what sparked it. But we're working very hard to determine what that was. Um, it would take, uh, the, the propane will not explode on its own, it takes some type of ignition, um, and that could come from any number of appliances or devices that are in the house. In just seconds, life forever changed for the Johnson family last Tuesday. The explosion leveled their two story home, and now, the family is trying to pick up the pieces each day. They've moved into a temporary new home in Wilson. As for their daughter, Katie, she is still at ECMC recovering from burns. Just like many in the community, the NOCO Corporation extends their thoughts and prayers to the Johnson family. As the head of the company, Jim Newman has stated on behalf of his brother and all the employees of NOCO, truly their thoughts and prayers are with the family. And obviously, out of respect to the family and law enforcement, we have been fully cooperating from the morning that we were notified there was an explosion. In Wilson, and once again, NOCO officials say they are fully cooperating with the investigation. As for Katie Johnson, she is the only family member of the Johnson family still in the hospital. She is still listed in critical condition in the burn unit at ECMC. Stay tuned to News 4 and WYVB.com for the very latest in this investigation. Reporting live, Brittany Smallwood, News 4 at noon. Thanks, Brittany. And we have information for you about the memorial service for Sarah Johnson. Friends and family will gather this Saturday at 10 a.m. at the Wilson Soccer Fields on Young Street. There will be tents set up in case of bad weather.